Hey guys, it's Austin here from Mountain Entertainment, and I am trying a new microphone setup. Uh, it goes up over my monitor instead of uh, coming from the side of my desk. Uh, I'm hoping this sounds a little bit better, and I am going to be ordering acoustic uh, paneling uh, for my wall. So, expect to see that as a video. Um... It might have already went up actually thinking about it depending on I have so many other video ideas other than gaming coming this week month week most of it's coming this month just so you guys know or probably already uh, was uploaded unless I'm saving it for next week so make sure you subscribe to find out what we're doing uh, an unboxing is one of them and a project for my truck is another one so you guys hopefully you'll stick around for that and uh, hopefully you guys are also excited for those uh, videos as much as I am and then we're gonna be doing acoustic soundproofing uh, on my wall to ooh, I got the hiccups or burps they're burps not hiccups darn it um, for, and hopefully that'll make the videos not sound as echoey uh, I was debating um, on getting them, but I watched Mumbo Jumbo, and he got acoustic panels, and he did a video on his vlogging channel, and I'm like, ooh, that actually makes his video sound a little bit better. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try. Um, I'm, yeah, like I said, I'll do a video on it, um, and I am so happy to be able to make all these videos this month. Um, I'm just like so pumped to make these uh, different videos other than gaming so yeah that's my little ramble about that ah uh, darn it I didn't check and see if we had uh, seed and fertilizer in here so we are gonna have to bring the semi out here and fill them up oh, I forgot to put the loco drive mod in all right, when I go get the semi, I'll exit the game and put the loco drive mod in because I forgot about that. Darn it. Darn it, Becky. I'm in a good mood. But this bad weather in game is killing my mood because I it's been uh <clears throat> uh raining and cloudy for the past few days here in old old, old Colorado. And I hate the rain. It just, I don't know. I like it when it's sunny and nice outside. Snow, I hate it. Well, I don't hate it. Like, I hate the coldness of snow. Like, if we could have snow, but it still be warm outside, I'd be down. Someone, scientist, if you're listening, please make that happen. No, please don't, because then it's probably going to harm us and kill us. Probably. That would suck. That would truly suck. Yeah. But I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like snow that much. It just makes everything... I don't know. Sometimes it's fun. Uh, like when I was little, it was fun going over to my cousin's house and sledding behind ATVs and stuff. It was fun. Alright, so, I'll be back. I'm going to get this hooked up and go put in the Loco Drive mod. So I'll see you guys after I do that. Alright, so we are filling up the cedar right now. I had a little bit of trouble figuring out how to fill it up again. Because um, the triggers on this, it's kind of weird. Um, I don't know if the triggers are only on the left side of the truck. Uh, but that's what it seems like. I couldn't get it to work. I had it pulled up next to it, then I just turned it around. And, yeah. I got it in there. Look at it all. It's all filling up. So, uh, I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Today is also a double upload. This is the second video today, hopefully. This might have went up on Sunday, though. Knowing me. I have done that. Come 
Come on, give me some fertilizer, bro. I don't remember where the fertilizer one was. No, not fuel. Okay, I need to find the... This one is... This one, maybe? Alright, so I've tried everything. I can't get this thing to... Uh... Fill up with fertilizer. I have... I've moved it to the fertilizer one. Like this. I don't know the problem with it. I'm gonna try this. But it was working perfectly fine last time. I don't know why it's not working this time. <gasps> oh, I got the hiccups again. Gosh darn it. Let's see, let's back this thing up. And it just keeps trying to refuel the tractor. I refueled it. Spent tons of money on refueling it. I've brought up my menus to see like where the triggers are um, brought those up I just can't find them like as soon as it goes to this one it'll probably show me nope I don't even know where that went great okay well, if you guys know what could be the problem, let me know. Alright, so let's just move this out of our way. Let's move it far, far, far away. Like, over here. This is far, far away, isn't it? Oh, God. Okay, let's just tab around until we get to the tractor we want. That makes me kind of upset that that won't uh, fill up with sea, uh, fertilizer. I don't think it's the track that. It might be, but I don't think it is, though. So. V. Oh, wait. What are we going to plant? Hmm. Let's just do this. Lower, please. Okay. We'll just have to come fertilize it a few times. Oh well. What am I gonna do about it? Absolutely nothing, because I don't know what to do with it. How to fix it or anything. Oh, yeah, no. Let's see. Let's just see if now it'll work. No, I'm not gonna try it. Because then it'll look, the field will be all weird. Like, part of it'll be fertilized and some of it won't be. So we're not even done a hassle with it, I guess. That's what I'm looking for. Once we're done with this field, I'll uh, try and mess with it. But I don't really want to spend four hours working on it. Trying to figure out what's the problem. Because if it's... It might just be this one. Because the other one was working fine. Uh, last week when we were... Was it last week when we used it? I think so. Or whenever we used it last, it was working fine. So, who knows? Uh, so the Big Bud DLC got released, or announced, not released, it doesn't get, uh, released for a month or so. Right? I think so. So, we're gonna have to wait for that, and... Of course, I'm gonna do a review kind of thing on it. I really want the. That's like really cool to me, that Big Bud DLC. I don't know. Tractors! I 
think I'll enjoy it more than the Fent DLC. Or not Fent, uh, Coon. Gosh, get your thingies right, Austin. Just because it is, uh, tractors and not just equipment. Even though there is going to be new equipment, uh, there's a big list of them. It, on their website, I think that's where they have them all uh, announced. And on uh, the Steam website, they're uh, announced what they are. At least I think they were. I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know what else to talk about. I'm kind of tired now after dealing with that for however long I did. Half an hour, maybe? Uh, probably not that long. Oh, gosh. This thing, like, you make one correction and the whole thing moves, then you'll o you'll overcorrect, then have to recorrect. And by the time you correct, it's already too late because it's moved so much and it takes so much for that little movement to translate into the back of this. So... And we need to find a new parking spot for this since it won't fit through that garage door. Unless I keep doing what I did today. Because I didn't know that was going to be a problem. But I guess it was. I didn't think about it. Of course I didn't. But it's alright I think. I actually like where I put my new mic. Or not my new mic. It's my old Yeti mic that I've had. I just moved it. I mounted it into the monitor stand behind my desk. <clears throat> and that is something I didn't uh, put in my setup tour video. I, it like just blanked my mind. I don't know why. But it did. But yeah. It's a triple monitor stand off of Amazon. Uh, if you're ever wondering. Okay. And I had it, like, right when I got my setup, but I was never able to use it because of my old desk. And that was one of the reasons I got my desk, was so I could use this monitor stand. Because I've always wanted to use it and never was able to. Which kind of sucks when you buy something and you're not able to use it. Alright. So let's get into a time lapse. I'll see you guys after the time lapse. Hopefully you guys enjoy this time lapse and I'll see you guys in a bit. See the whole thing of seed. Oh no! I hope we'd at least make it to the end of this row. Then we're gonna take it back to the farm, try and find somewhere to park this behemoth. Behemoth? Is that the word? Behemoth? I think that's the word I'm looking for. Behemoth. 
Behemoth. I think that's how you say it. Behemoth. I think. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, dude. By the way, that has nothing to do with being a scientist, knowing what behemoth, behemoth sounds like, or how you say it. Nothing of that deals with science. I promise you. At least I don't think it does. It might actually. I'm not sure. Like, that's a behemoth star out there. Oh, that's something I want to talk about. Space. Space is freaking crazy. Like, there's like stars that are, like, bigger than our sun. Like, that's crazy. Like, man. Like, you don't realize how small we are on Earth until you look at stuff like that like that is a crazy like for real though like there's stars that could eat our sun like wow 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 but then there's I don't know then isn't there like a diamond planet or is that just like something I heard that's actually false that might be something that was told to me and it's actually false and I believe it and now I'm telling you guys and now you're gonna believe it probably probably not because I just said I might have I uh, heard it from someone uh, that made it up uh, but uh, either way uh, I don't know like space is freaking crazy I wouldn't want to go to space though what if there's like a space dinosaur dragon like creatures that when you try and like if you go into space in some spots they like chomp your head off like on the dark side of the moon has anyone been to the dark side of the moon maybe I don't know though what if there's like dinosaurs over there that would be crazy oh speaking of dinosaurs I had this thought the other night or day I don't remember exactly why I was thinking about dinosaurs but like let's say dinosaurs were still around would dinosaurs be like our pets? Or would they be like uh, elk, wolves, a uh, bear, and stuff like that? Would they just be like wild animals that are around? But be like that. And they are in zoos and stuff. Like, how would that work? Let me know your guys' opinions on that. I don't know my opinion. I'd think they'd be our uh, pets because if they were still around. I'd have one of those Tyrannosaurus. Try no, uh, Pterodon, Pterodon, Pterodactyl. That's what I would have. I couldn't think of it. I want one that can fly. So if I wanted to, I could go from here to Canada. Would I go to Canada? Maybe if I had a, uh dinosaur that could fly and take me there maybe maybe you never know Alaska I want to go to Alaska and Montana those are two places I want to go Montana and Alaska my uncle went to Alaska yeah uh, for a fishing fishing trip or was it hunting it was fishing I think with people from his work uh oh he said there were, like, there was one night there was a grizzly bear? Is it a grizzly bear or brown bear that they have? I think he said it was a grizzly bear, but I'm not 100% sure. He might have said it was uh, uh, the other one, but I'm not sure. Uh, but he said one night this, whatever kind of bear it was, uh, was in, like, they were sleeping next to the river. Yeah, they were fishing then. Uh, and this grizzly bear came running from one side of the, or ran past their camp or something. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but he said, uh, he was stand, like, my uncle was standing in it fishing earlier that day, or whenever. And he said that w the water was up to his chest, or his chest, or I think he said it was up to his chest. And on this, uh, um, grizzly bear, it was, like, barely up to its either knees 
or waste. I'm not sure. But that would be crazy to see. Like in person, that would be really crazy to see. That's something I want to see. Someone, uh, anyone that owns a thingy like that, hit me up. Not really. But that's always something I want. I wanted to go to, like, go to Alaska and uh, Montana, because Montana's beautiful in some spots, like the mountains. I love the mountains. So, yeah. Well, that kind of explains why my thing is mountain entertainment. <laughs> that's where I got it from. It's because I like mountains. Because I've always grown up in Colorado and we go camping and stuff in the mountains and I know they're all they're beautiful especially at sunset oh get across oh oh <laughs> uh, like some nights the sunsets are awesome with the uh, mountains they're, they're pretty cool I might try and film some for you guys if that's something you want to see I might have Eh, I've done cloud ones, but I don't think I've done one with the mountains. But, yeah. Alright, so, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time, and bye. Ow, where was that from? Oh, damn it. Uh, I think it turned out a lot better than I would have planned it to. Like, it looks similar to what I